I'm David Borja. My name is Michael Klein. I'm Mike McQueen. I'm Dan Dublin. Daniel Estrella. <laughs> I'm Alexis Rivera. I am a sophomore here at MSC. And I'm Gabriel Rivera, and I'm a sophomore here. I am a junior, and I'm a sports marketing major with a musical theater minor. I'm a freshman BFA actor. I was film, but I'm going to be switching into acting after moving to Canada this summer. I'm an English major with a journalism minor and a theater minor. I'm a junior BA theater studies major. I am a mathematics with a concentration in finance major. And as of spring of last year, I am a theater minor. I'm declared the moment, but I'm thinking of going to fashion studies. I got into the family and child studies major, so I'm doing that. I am playing quarter of I am Lieutenant Rooney. I lay down the law and clean up the loose ends. I am playing Mr. Withers. I am playing Dr. Herman Einstein. I am casted as Jonathan Brewster. He's the evil sinister guy. I am playing Martha Brewster. And I'm Martha Brewster. Uh, my character is a uh, dramatic critic. He writes about the theater. He is a... I think he's the youngest of the family. He is a very laid-back kind of person. He falls in love with a girl who lives next door. But he doesn't really live next door to them. That's where his aunts live, Aunt Martha and Aunt Abby. So he spends a lot of time over there just to meet her and hang out with her. But um, he's very chill unless something big happens and then he kind of gets a little loopy. Elaine is a very intelligent, strong-willed woman. She's deeply in love with Mortimer Brewster, and she's very, very excited to be engaged to be married to him. But things keep getting in the way, and she wants to know exactly what's going on. She is a lonely old man, which is the M.O. for a lot of, a lot of the men that you'll see in the show. Um, I, won't, I don't want to ruin the ending. But he's an important character when it comes to the end. He is a pronounced callback, hunchback, I guess. He's kind of been brought into this world of Jonathan's, of helping kill people, and he doesn't really want to do it, but he has to, or else Jonathan will beat him up because he's a like, queen. Mm. But otherwise, like, he's actually a really nice person if you just get past the disfigurements. And, the awkward voice and everything else that goes along with it. I'm more than excited. I feel like this role is like I was just made for this role kind of because I love being evil sometimes and sinister and creepy. I guess we're like a little bit older. We have to be up in our 60s, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, it doesn't, we're not really sure how old we are, but um, I would say like 60s probably. I'm the youngest of four, so I like to have uh, goofy times with my older siblings. And I'm usually like the one that's like shoved out of the way, but I still can find a good way to like get myself noticed and get loud, even though I'm the youngest. So if I need attention, I can get crazy like that. I did watch the movie just to get a little um, practice of the role. I know that Cary Grant did, I think he did a fantastic job with the part of the movie. He was really funny, so. There's that. A lot, there's a lot of looking in the mirror. There's a lot of a lot of, and a lot of that. So I do uh, improvisation of the face. Anything that Maureen likes. Um, I view myself as a very strong individual, so I relate on that level. I think she is very quick with a comeback, and I am also like that. I think she's very smart. I've been looking a lot at your stay and Mary from It's a Wonderful Life. Very I'm a little bit shy in real life, but when I act, I'm not afraid to lay down the law. To prepare for my role, I encourage myself in the mirror whenever I look in the mirror. He, um, he runs a, an asylum for insane people, and so he, but he's really nice and he wants to find people that have a person to be. So I can definitely understand he's very helpful, he's very dedicated to his job, and as the production manager of players, I can definitely relate to that. He's very quiet, so he's very observant of everything that's going on in the house. He kind of walks in and there's a whole bunch going on, as you'll see in the show. And so, um, it, he's definitely a character that has a lot of reactions to everything that's going on. He doesn't have a lot of I think, um, 
how he stands up for other people and I think he has like really strong morals, but in other ways not so much because I, I'm far more outspoken and I'm far more likely to tell people when I'm not having any more of it. And I think Einstein takes things sitting down a little more. So Maureen has me looking at Igor of young Frankenstein fame. So I'm gonna be looking at some clips of that. Um, and in general, it's just about like balancing the bizarre with also being like relatable to the audience and not just being some creepy hunchback that they can't understand at all and don't want to see anymore. Abby, she's really sweet, and like I'm pretty sweet, so, and she's more of like uh, powerful in a way, like very, I don't know how to describe it, like, just strong, and so I like that about her too. Yeah, Martha kind of hides behind Abby a little bit, which I feel like is sometimes opposite, like I feel like I protect her sometimes, but sometimes she protects me too, so I guess it kind of works. We were told we had to watch how old, older women walk, because we can't walk like 19 year olds. Yeah. Makeup. I don't think we're changing our voice. 